Hi, brother. It's good to see you, brother. Okay, can you tell the audience uh, and the viewers uh, what's your name? Our name's Andy. I'm from Warrington. Andy from Warrington, and yeah. and and Andy, um, how did you get say? How did you come to know the Lord Jesus? I came to know the Lord Jesus through the outreach people were doing on the street, like you guys were doing here, handing out tracts, talking to people, and uh, they invited me to go to a church service. And I just, just for, for lunch and stuff, I, I'll go along just for a meal. I'm not going to get involved in with the church and all. So I just went along for the, for the meal and stuff. And I got talking to people and they says, well, this next Sunday we've got a really good guy coming to preach. He's a born again Christian and he, he's speaking about the love of God and how God can change your life, how Jesus has set you free and how he's died on the cross for you. So I said, oh, okay, I'll go along just to see what it's like. I went along and actually something really touched me there. Um, I really felt the voice of the Lord speaking to me, I really did. That I need to become a Christian, I need to give my life to Jesus. And if I do that, I'm going to go to heaven and be with Jesus forever and ever. And that sounded really good to me because I was having so many problems anyway. But I believe that's the only way. Jesus is the only way. He is the life of truth. And no one comes to the Father except through Him. And I really, since I became a Christian, um, I became a Christian that day. I gave my life to the Lord and He asked me, um, what do you want to do? I said, I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. And before that, I was an alcoholic, drug addict and everything. But that, after I became a Christian, I didn't want any of that no more. I didn't want nothing like that. All I wanted was the love of God inside me. I've never had a family or nobody, nobody else. I just want I just want to be with the Lord forever. He's done so much for me. He set me free from drugs, set me free from booze, set me free from a lot of things. Just recently, I uh, I had to forgive my family for what they did to me a long time ago. I said, no, I can't do that. But they said, if you can do that, how can the Lord in heaven forgive you? And it's got me really thinking, and yeah, it's right. If I can't forgive the people that did it to me, and the Lord can't forgive me, can he? Wow. And so, I mean, I was drinking every day, I was taking drugs every day, and all this kind of stuff. Wow. And things have really, really changed now. Things are really going for the better now. Wow. And I think all I can do is look, things look up and up now. Okay, I'm disabled. I got bad legs and bad back and everything. I believe the Lord will heal me in time. Not in my time, but his time. Wow. I believe wow. the Lord will heal me completely of all that. That's amazing, brother. That's yeah, amazing. it is. I mean, what I went to in the back because my family was alcoholics and drug addicts. And they used to kick, I fought brother and sister. And they used to kick us about and everything. We got put into a home, a home for a hundred kids, like a children's home. And I was there for six years. I got beat up there all the time by the officials and everything. So I got I had a hard, hard life. And now I've got the love of God inside me, the love of Christ inside me. And you can't get any better than that. Wow. You can't get any better than that whatsoever. And wow. That's, that's my testimony. That I love Jesus and, and I know God loves me. And I will be with him forever and ever. And, and you're, you're on a, one of these th yeah, things. You shot my bill and yeah, yeah. And, and do you find the Lord helps you as you, like, with your... Uh, being on the scooter and through life. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not going on the scooter. But I can go around and tell people, tell people about Jesus as well, and tell them look what the Lord has done for me, and uh, He can do the same for you. Okay, wow. I'm, okay, I'm on a wheelchair, I'm on the chair, and so, but that doesn't make any difference. It's what it's in the heart what counts, not in the chair what counts, or nothing. Yeah. So it's in your heart that you believe in the Lord. Wow. Amen, brother. Amen. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah, no Thank problem. you. God bless you. You too. God Thanks. bless you.